Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So let's just continue right where we left off. We just got, uh, we changed both the Dia and, and Magnolia into Swordmasters last episode. Hopefully this wasn't a terrible idea. We're here in the uh, uh, sea caves looking for the compass that um, I think the astrologer told us about. So let's go see if what he said was the case. So let's go this way first, just because I'm curious what's over here. Let's grab these two. Ooh, blue chest. So, ooh, a cat. Can we... I'm guessing that's going to attack us later. I'm just going to have a big guess and probably say that's the case. Okay. Yeah, so right now, I know these guys are swordsmen, and I should be countering with them, but when it comes to auto attacks, I feel like I should just, like, you know, just use attacks for now. And, um... When it comes to actual like boss fights and stuff, we'll start using the counters and all that cool stuff. But for now, let's just attack so we can get that XP. Okay, 500 pig there. What happens if I click this? Is that going to bring that one down? Okay, so that's going to let me around to over here. I guess let's take a look at what's here first while we get into another battle. Okay, use out using his frost and lightning. Probably earth damage will be good against these guys. You know what? Next turn, I'll I gotta remind myself to use that. Okay, what does this do? Okay, so basically I just need to go back and hit that red one now. Have both of them up, right? Seems correct to me. Okay, fair enough. Now let's go to the other side and we go ahead and go up on the second level. And we will continue from here. Yeah, the recommended is 17 through 21 and our guys are 21 now. So we're not over leveled for this uh, dungeon, but we're definitely on the right track. Only because, um, if you guys remember two episodes ago, I did a good bit of... Um, Grinding at the Miasma Woods, so we're pretty good on levels right now, which makes me happy because I hate being low on levels because it just makes everything a whole lot harder. Let's grab this shiny thing, Phoenix down. Okay, a little bit of a waste. It's only 100 peak, but hey, an item is an item, so I will not complain too much. Okay, let's see. Another, another continuation of the dungeon. Oh, we got three of these things. Okay. Yeah, it looks like this is a lot better with magic, it seems. I should probably continue that fight, but I'm just not going to. Okay, we got several splits now. This is... Interesting. Okay, so now that we got this chest, we could probably... Lower this red one there. Another cat... Yeah, we can't do anything there until we lower that. Let's go. Let's keep fighting and just checking out the rest. Ooh, I'm out of MP. Okay, then I'll have to give him an ether or two. But honestly, Tiz is doing a fine job of damage, so... I'm not going to even complain about that. Okay. Going up in the world here with those Swordmaster classes. What is over here? Okay, if we go up, we make our way to the exit. Okay, good to know, good to know. If we go this way, let's get the chest first before we do anything crazy. 800 peak, okay, you'll love to see it. What does raising the red do? Oh, it raises... Oh, and now we could go around there and do something. Yeah, it took a little bit of time, but we made it. We gotta hit that green. Okay, now let's hit that green, because now I want to make it to that chest. Bang. Oh, let's also... Might as well, because now I just feel bad. Let's give... Let's, let's go ahead and give you a couple ethers here. Ooh, that's probably a good sword that I cannot use in the moment. Okay, so if I go down here, I'll probably end up at a crystal that will open up the way to get out of here. I'm just gonna guess it's probably the case, right? Yep. Yep, we get the blue. That'll raise up over there so we can get out of here. And 
Are these dungeons super easy, or am I just, like, an absolute genius? I think they're probably just easy, but I'm gonna just tell myself that I'm just an absolute genius. Because I like that option just a tiny bit better. Quickly, can I... Did, did they learn a new ability here? Katana lore, they indeed did. Now, I want to make sure to put Katana lore on there, because that'll increase uh, the good things about their class. So, amazing. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Let's give it a quick uh, heal and then a save. 100 pig. Slightly expensive, but completely worth it. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and uh, save. Bang, bang. Nope, that is it. Now I'm going to move forward. Hopefully, we don't meet too many enemies here. Just go straight for the boss. Where I'll finally, for the first time, get to use my sword masters in you know with countering and all that fun stuff look there could it be it's the compass with the sword in it why is there a sword sticking out of the compass oh, the, rush, the compass of space and time we've done it we found the compass before the kaiser that's what you think psych the compass <laughs> Finders keepers. But I found it. Nothing gets by Minette, thanks to my Infermiaushin superhighway. Meow to bring the compass to his Meowjesty. I wonder what treat he'll have for me this time. <laughs> kind of cringe though. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah. Take a look around you. We've got you trapped like a rat. Orcs. That's right. We're not gonna let you or run just away like this time. Cringy high school, run either away? one. I think you misunderstand our game of cat and mouse. His meow just gave Minette one more task: neutralize you and his meddling friends. Meow! <laughs> neutralize a little girl like you? Who are you calling a little girl? Minette is a cat, the queen of all cat kind. Your silly human notions of good and evil mean nothing to us cats. Minette likes his meowjesty. His meowjesty is nice to Minette. When Minette was down, his meowjesty patted her head and scratched behind her ears. His meowjesty told Minette she's a good kitty. And his meowjesty introduced Minette to one of her favorite kitty friends. Bismarck! Here, kitty, 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 kitty. It's a lion, bro. You know, cat. That's one big kitty. Uh, tis. I don't think. Meow. <laughs> don't they look yummy, Bismarck? Do you hear me? You muna meowgia. This is the end for you, meow. Okay, just stop talking, please. This is no kitty. This is a look. Ah, is someone a little scaredy cat? Just, shh, shh, please this let me just a kill you. Sweet little kitty. Just, who obeys my just Minette, shut up. The cat mancer meowsterist has got her claws on you. Just Minette, shut up. Just up sh shut up. I just please let me just kill you. Um, piercing bolt on. Let's kill Bismarck first. He seems to do most of the damage. I think he's going to do most of the damage. So let's just go ahead and kill him first. I don't know what cats don't like, but I'm just going to guess they don't like fire. Let's go ahead and use... What is this? Reduces tar... Oh, okay. That could be good. Let's use nothing ventured, though. And then um, let's default with Tiz. And let's go ahead and use a, a nothing ventured on Magnolia also. See, that's exactly what we need, right? And we just counter with something really strong. Okay, a thousand damage. That's for the gravy, indeed. It's pretty good. Let me go ahead and slow it down a little bit. Okay, so fire is the weak point of Bismarck. So that's something we just learned. Um, Let's go ahead and use another nothing ventured, another default. And nothing ventured once again. Honestly, if she attacks, that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, because that attack back is a lot stronger than just a normal attack here. And we can also kind of control our, you know, 
BP. You're stronger than you look. But Manette has nine lives, and she always lands on her feet. When I bring the compass back to his meow just eat, he'll give me all the tuna and mackerel I can eat, just like he promised. Wait a minute. Look, I know why you're going after us. But why do you want this compass so badly? Because it's important. That's why. Important? Well, what makes it so important? I don't know. Because Meow just he said it was important. So it meows be important. If Meow tried to confuse Minette with words, it's not working. Meow, say your prayers, you dirty rats. Fair enough. Sonic Boom. Okay, I'll hit you back with some. Throw a little heal on everyone. Okay, well, honestly, Dread on the D is not the most terrible thing. Can we put a Lux? No? Okay, let's just keep doing heals. Just keep doing nothing ventures. It's working pretty well, honestly. Because we attack back, and again, we control our BP, so... I'm not even mad about it, honestly. Okay, let's just, uh... Can we do some heat? Heat, heat, heat. With a Dia. Let's do a moon, moon shadow. There we go. Default. Moon shadow. And then a nothing ventured. Sounds good to me. Ouch. Okay, that didn't do much. Fair enough. Do a little moon shadow here. Bang. Ooh, it stopped it. That's kind of cool. I don't know why I did that, but it did, and I like it. Okay, hitting them with a weak point. Not very strong. Yeah, magic is really kind of not good in this game, it seems. It's doing a lot less like it was before. Ooh, a 900 weak point, though. That was some good stuff right there. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's do a trample on Biz. No, I don't want to do a trample. Let's just do a um, normal attack on Bismarck here. Okay, let's just go default here. I just don't want to... Ooh, Magnolia is almost dead. Okay, let's go ahead and um, do a nothing ventured again. Let's do a heal on Magnolia, and then a heal on all allies. And then we'll do nothing ventured. Well, if I can get that heal out first. Nope. It's a little bit of a shame. Okay, well, that's okay. We can just use a uh, Phoenix down here. And then we can just use a potion on Magnolia. Hopefully the Phoenix down... Okay. So hopefully the Phoenix down comes out first. That would be quite the shame if it didn't. Okay, let's just keep using heat. With the Dia. Let's just use nothing ventured again. Another heal on everyone. And nothing ventured. It's probably a little bit of a waste because Bismarck is currently stopped. Ooh, that's not good. Of course, Bismarck's probably going to come out of his sleep right when I'm asleep. Okay, yeah, he is no longer stopped, and all of a sudden now I'm... Okay, looks like I'm out of it, but I'm still dreaded. That's good, because nothing ventured actually works in this case here. Uh, well, not unless they're dead. Okay, and I can't... Ooh, that's annoying. Okay. Let's use the Phoenix down. And then let's use, um... Let's use a high potion. There. High potion there. And a potion there. Ooh, don't kill, don't kill. Ooh, that sucks. Okay, what do I do here? I need to heal. Cure? Cura. Yes, Kira indeed. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, I just need to make sure that I go first. Please let me go first. Nope. Okay. Okay. I, and I'm almost dead here. Okay, let's do... Phoenix down, Phoenix down, Phoenix down. And then a rejuvenation. This is about my last stand here. I'm dead. Unless he doesn't kill me. You're trash at this game. Oh, we actually survived it. That's absolutely nuts. Probably shouldn't have been able to survive that, but fair enough. We did it.
with enough Phoenix downs at least. Okay, back we go. We're back in the game, baby. Um, where's my Fura and Blizzara? Okay, let's use Furas here. Let's use them on all foes still though, because I still want to do some damage. Okay, with the Dia. Let's go ahead and now let's do some tramples. These should do quite a bit of damage because we're at full health here. So let's go ahead and do trample. And these should hurt. These should hurt quite a bit. As long as we don't die. Bang. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. Y'all are doing something crazy, crazy. Yeah, this. Yeah, we just. We totally just swung this fight in a whole different direction with basically one turn here. But we want to make sure we stay on top of that healing game because if we don't, it could still get bad pretty quickly here. But we countered. Um, it's just default here. Do another healing on everyone. Um, default. Actually, let's just let's just keep doing the tramples here. Okay, that's all right. Magnolia is still going to trample and probably kill him with the last one, right? You know it. Alright, and everyone gets their XP, which is amazing. Everyone gets their JP too. Love to see it. Okay, we got the Campmancer Asterisk. What does this even do? What, do you, what, what does this do? I know this is a... Pr Mirror enemy moves with cats can learn monster abilities... Under favors axes and knuckles? Is this the stupidest class I've ever seen in my life? Okay, let me um let me Google it. Let me see if this class is genuinely any good. I thought he had more lies. But it looks like this is the end for him. And me. We didn't want this either. But we made a promise. We couldn't afford to lose. Now, the compass. Minette! Jan? <sighs> Elster Ungard? Minette! Blast it all! Couldn't you have held them off just a minute longer? I'm so sorry, but look. Minette got the stray compass. Here, Elster Ungard. Don't worry about Minette. Be a good kitty and take the compass to his majesty. <sighs> Forgive me, Minette. Come, my unions. Minette has met her meowker. But you must fight on. I just can't stand this dialogue, man. <sighs> Wait, Jan! Uh, missed him by a whisker. They'll cannibalize us if we take another step. <sighs> This is a catastrophe! Oh, I can't take any more of this! Jan's headed for the Skyhold, no doubt. We need to hurry back to Anshine before they escape again. Let's go, everyone! We'll rescue the Compass and Anyas from the Kaiser's clutches. Let's do it. And please, for God's sake, stop with this. You can all speak to cats. Cool. Please stop with this cat stuff, man. Like, I get it. I get it. It's a theme or something, but please. It's just... I'm not that type of guy who is like, uh, <laughs> that's cringe. That's cringe, guys. But like... Come on, man. Like... It's just like, it's not even funny. You know? Like... It's not cute either. You know, like, make this stupid girl a cat. I don't care, but like... It's just not cute. Keep going here. Step in here. Everyone, look up there. There's still time. Let's hurry. Indeed. So there's still time. Let's hurry. So let's go ahead and uh, sleep at the inn real quick because I need to get my health back. So I know we're supposed to hurry. But I don't have time to hurry because first I need to heal. Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick saveroo here. Bang, bang. Okay, I'm 
how much money we have? We got a little bit of money from that dungeon, but not too much. But while we're here, we might as well buy these last two here. And real quick, let me Google if a Catmancer's any good. Okay, everybody, so I just looked it up. It doesn't look like the Catmancer is specifically any good. Which, honestly, kind of makes me a tiny bit sad because I think the design of the Catmancer is actually pretty cool. Like, if we go here, like, Magnolia as a Catmancer is kind of sick. Not any good, so let's continue on with the game here. Oh, we're finally going into the dungeon. We can talk to cats now. The death fish that live in the ocean shallows. Azu that live in the ball crater. The arrow lanterns and bullet ants that live in arena sea caves. All of these beasts can aid you in acquiring catmancy. Use learning when battling them if you haven't already. I seem to recall there being some enemy in the forest near here who can also help you, but who? Okay, well I don't care who because I'm not using that stupid class. It's cute, but that's about it. Yeah, we've gone through this dungeon before. I wonder if it's the same layout. Grand Mill. I want. Yeah, I wonder if it's the same layout or if it's different this time. I guess we'll see. Oh my! Look at all these gears. It's something, isn't it? The city of Vansheim is an industrial haven powered entirely by the wind. You know. Alavash, a city powered by wind? You must tell me how it works. Me? Well, uh, you see, it's really quite simple. So, uh, the wind blows, right? Woo, 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 and, uh, and the gears go round and round, like so. And then, and then? Then the gears move the thingamajig, which is connected to a what's it? And, uh, uh... Tiz! Magnolia's picking on me! That's what you get for trying to show off. I'll tell you all about wind power later, Magnolia. For now, let's get going. Twist and shoe, how sweet of you. But it's okay. I pretty much already know. Then what'd you ask me for? It's a funny little dialogue. Level 19 through 23, and we are 22, so we are supposed to be in this dungeon. At or So we're at a good level for this dungeon. But it looks like this dungeon is... Is it mixed up? It's different? No. Okay, let's go ahead and just do a quick save here. Is it any different? I, I guess it's the same style, right? We have a thing here, and we need to do both levers, right? Okay, fair enough. I don't want to... If I could stop missing the stairs, that'd be nice, though. Okay, let's see what type of enemies we have in here. Ooh, we got Robos. Ooh, I should probably change my auto here. Because these things will pro probably fires, but... Or, you know, magic is good against these things. Okay, so let's go ahead and use... Um... use they're not does, maybe they're weak to electricity hold on hold on hold on hold on okay well next time we meet one of those guys let's try electricity instead I have a feeling that might be a little better because they're robots right all robots are weak to electricity maybe I guess we'll see let's go up these stairs see what's up here okay let's try this again let's go with thunder Yes, all foes, all foes, all foes. Let's go with trample here. Trample, 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 trample. Um, let's see, lightning on everyone. Lightning, lightning, lightning. And we'll do some more tramples even though she's low on HP. We'll fix her HP after this fight. Okay, so thunder is their weak point, just like I thought here. Oh, ouch. Uh, that's what magic is. Shiny. Okay, more catmancy stuff. Which I'm not using. I don't want to use catmancy. I just uh And I don't I don't want to fight another horde because I'll definitely die if I do. 800 pig. Okay, okay, okay. 
I'm pretty sure at the end of this hallway is one of the levers here. Party's feeling brave. Okay. Let's keep going here. There's a staircase down, but I think the lever's over here. No, the lever is down here, though, for sure. No, it's the chest. Okay. Remedy, uh, completely not worth for that entire travel, but fair enough. Go on. There better be something good down here, because this entire thing was wasted if not. Okay. More robots. Just use lightning against them. Yeah. Yeah, that physical is like... Oh, no, I didn't want to fight. I didn't... No, stop making me fight things. So I should be a little grateful, but now I gotta use all of this heal energy to get everyone back up. So now I gotta use an ether. Yeah, and I'm gonna be out of magic soon. Okay. Another shiny thing. Actually, just for a little while. Let's go ahead and turn that down. There's a lot of walking in this dungeon, and I just feel that I should probably just tone down the fighting just for a hot minute. Okay, there is one of the levers. Now we just need to grab that other lever. Yeah, and I'm already... Um, so I'm 23. Okay, this this the top for this is 23. So I feel like I'm probably good. So I'll just stop fighting for a hot minute. So now we gotta go all the way back around. And we gotta go to the basically other half of the dungeon. Okay, go down here. Now we have two other stairways to go up. Let's do this one first. Where does this take us? It takes us back here. Okay, so then we want to take the other one here. Where will this take us? Oh, straight up just to the other one. Maybe this is, isn't as big of a dungeon as I thought. I thought this was going to, like, expand into some bigger place. But it's literally just right here. Bang, bang. Okay, fair enough. I think that we checked out everything else, right? There's nothing more to explore. Wait, there's the two chests over there. I want those. Oh, howdy, Mr. Jan, sir. Glad you made it back, sir. Dark. There's no way to talk to an officer. Sir Jan, <laughs> your safe return heartens us all. Oh, it's you two. I was hoping for someone more competent. Oh, afraid we're fresh out of copper tents, sir. Look, you, Jenny Olja, and his crew will be coming this way any minute now. Leave him to us, sir. They're too much for you, and you know it. So I've got a present for you. Maybe you've seen it before. The looker in the science lab? Uh, that slippery, slimy, slobbery thingy? That's it. As soon as the enemy arrives, point it their way. And try not to screw up. You hear? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to go get the chests, though. So let's go back. Let's make sure we didn't miss any. Okay, I know there's got to be in there. We got to... <gasps> yes! Secret, 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 secret. I love it. Courage ring. We can't even open that one up. Is there any... There's got to be a secret item in here somewhere. Maybe in the boxes? Okay, so we did all that just for a single courage ring. Fair enough. Now let's go back to where we're actually supposed to go here. Okay, guys, but I am going to end this episode off here, so let's go ahead and rest in the cottage, then save the game, and we'll continue on with this. Um, well, technically, we're done with the dungeon, I think. We're just going to fight some enemies, but we'll do that next episode. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and comment as a personal channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.